morning, everybody. It's Christian from Student Education with the four majors in this update for the 25th of March 2013. Our folks, hope you had a fantastic weekend with family and friends. See what's been happening in Europe. What happened last week? Well, we had Cyprus as a major issue, and it still is one. I don't think we came up with a, a plan as yet. I think there are, there is something um, they're trying to thrash at the moment now, but it's just the final points of the detail. However, that's obviously had a nice positive effect on the market last night, as we saw. If you look at the, the four hour candle, yes, last night, you could see the Asian open slightly lower. However, going into that Tokyo session morning open, you can see quite clearly this nice bullish engulfing four hour candle, which has taken us well above the 1300, which was for a number for the most part of the last uh, of, of uh, March looking as resistance. Now we're above the institution. We've been there before recently, guys. So it's imperative now that the institution moving average, which uh, uh, concurs with the 1300 now on a four hour is now support so the four hour pullback as we speak uh, we're having 10 o'clock till this morning GMT to see this candle form if it still remains above 1300 then look to see if there's any buying pressure on the smaller time frames for you to look to the upside for the foreseeable future so as long as Cyprus gets thrashed out and um, we can see price finding support now at the upside of 1300 then for the remainder of this week we should be looking for buying sentiment and then we can look to all important highs along the way. So on daily, we get above 1300. You can quite clearly see price over here. Noticeably, 1300, my black line. Price needs to get above that in order to see price moving any any higher soon. You can see quite clearly in the daily here, we are very much still in a negative trend. The institution moving average has been support for this price over last week in particular. But we have to get above the 1300. You can quite clearly see price finding support above it. Just read through some breaking low into the institution moving average and now moving higher. If we are to see a nice bounce, we do need to see 1300 being broken, nice bullish engulfing candle, and then we could look to the upside. Preferably around about the 13, 1500 mark would be a nice one. Then back to the 50 period moving average, and then all importantly, way up to all these other areas over here, 13330, etc., to the top side, uh, and, and we can work our way way up towards this 13700 mark, which was our. Um, February high. So straight to my hourly counter, you can quite clearly see the hour that's seen the pullback. A lot of hesitation since the the Tokyo Open. The move higher, potentially moving up towards this 1305 mark, which happens to be a Fib retracement area. However, coming unstuck. You can see now that we we saw on the the pullback yesterday on the Open, we saw a pullback. That's taken us to an area, and you can see the intermediate trend now on an hourly swing high. And if we did a fit projection of this, I'm sure we'll take us back to 100%, just short of it. So price not making more than um, a 78.6 fit retracement to the up to put uh, projection to the upside, and not coming on stuck at 13.05. I need to see price now finding support in the 1300. So psychologically, prior resistance need, needs to become the new support. So 1300 needs to be the new support. Budget time, look for a nice uh, support area here over the next couple of hours, and then we could look to target the upside for the going into the uh, US session. Let's see if there's any news out for the European session today. None, as we see, there is something for the US market. That is, Mr. Bernanke is having a word later on this evening at quarter past five GMT. So nothing on the, the markets except for Cyprus, which is still trying to thrash out a deal. They have been um, working on a deal of yesterday and today. So that'll be the one thing to look at now is to see if price can actually find support intraday to see if we can see the euro gaining any further strength during the course of this week. On to sterling against US dollar. Let's look at the weekly chart. Price pulled back the past two weeks and pulling back at 1485. And we all know 1485 is a price support and resistance level consolidation area. As of our pullback here on my weekly chart, you can see price hesitated here through 2010. So that all important 15300 mark, you can quite clearly see a lot of support through this at this area here over the past couple of years and price broke through it recently moving into that 1485 and now we've seen a, a, a nice collective uh, consolidation bounce at this area now and moving back up towards the underside of 15300 we have seen last week in particular finding resistance now at the underside a lot of hesitation a lot of in, uh, hesitation going into the um, Thursday and Friday of last week but we saw some momentum Especially on Thursday and Friday into the underside of 15300 we need to see this 15300 now being breached if this is to be a positive sentiment move to the upside however I feel if we still uh, 
come up with a bearish engulfing candle at 15300 then all we're seeing is this just a pullback after the breakout and then we're going to see a continuation in the direction of the breakout so as it stands at the moment now you can quite clearly see those january highs here we had the evening star shooting star formation failure way at the top over here you can see price has been making its way to the downside so what we're seeing swing low swing low swing low and price is coming to this area now where we could see potentially this trend line becoming a resistance area we have two fronts over here we have the resistance above a 15300 and we also have the trend line resistance 50 period moving average is not too far from that however i feel the longer we see price finding resistance at 15300 then we should be looking for bearish engulfing candles because we are still in a very negative trend we should be trading or looking for trades in the direction of the major trend the major trend is negative the intermediate the intermediate trend however is positive we have seen a bounce at 1485 However, this intermediate trade now is coming into contact with the major trend and the major resistance level at 15,300. So look for those psychological resistance area candles, bearish engulfing candles, shooting stars, bearish aramis, that type of thing. You can see the four hour intermediate trend very much to the downside, the institution moving average acting as resistance, this green line for a long period of time. However, since Thursday, you can see price is spending more time above it, which is a good sign. And in doing so, we've seen price moving edgedly uh, quite uh, slowly to the upside and hitting the 15200 which was our intraday resistance area I just pan out you can see through most parts of the of um, the end of uh, February in particular and most of March finding resistance here we've seen a little breakout here yes uh, recently uh, on Friday but now we're consolidating a lot of indecis uh, indecisive candles above 15200 and that all important 15300 the major support and resistance level high is just above us right here so there's not a lot of movement between 1525 and 15300 there's still 50 pips there guys but if you're looking to trade that intraday i would be rather aggressive you can see the consolidation of my hourly for example uh, not a lot of uh, real clear confirmation signals a lot of wicks to the upside which is not a clear sign of um of hesitation in the market we are seeing higher highs and prices spending more time above 15200 which was prior resistance and we are seeing swing highs, which is a, a positive sign. But near term, since the Tokyo Open, the Asian session open, price has just been moving sideways. So just be clear that the closer we trade towards the 15,300, the more likelihood we're going to start seeing price consolidating um, as we head into this major resistance level. People would like to start taking more profit off the table, so there's less risk attached to their trades, and you start seeing price faltering. So if you are going to be trading aggressively, into uh, above 1525 near term into that 15300 look to be very aggressive with your entries and your stop placement up next the US dollar Swiss franc let's have a look at the weekly chart for this particular pair price tentatively making a move and, and consolidating above 940 uh, I mentioned last week we need to see price now finding support above 940 to press on we've been above 940 before which is, happens to be our price support and resistance level but once price got above that 940, it failed to actually stick. We saw the breakout, the pullback, this consolidation spinning top here. And now we want to see the bullish engulfing candle here in November of last year. However, that failed to materialize over that week. We saw a bearish engulfing candle, which took us back below, and subsequently we saw price moving lower. We're doing it again this, this year. We've seen a break above it in March. We've seen this bearish engulfing candle that's taken us all the way back. But it's not taken us lower than the 50 period moving average, and it's also too close to this 940 mark. Last week, we wanted to see a nice bullish engulfing candle. It's now closed, but at the lower end of this 50%, if you took 50% of this candle, you can see it's spending more time at the bottom end of it. Is this, or does this constitute now to a bullish Arami? Mm, ideally, we'd like to see a more uh, uh, engulfing candle, a more precise, very little wick, even if it did close the low end of it. But it's all taking place at a price support and resistance level in the, in the shape of the 940 excuse me in the, in the shape of the 940 the candle we've seen last night in particular very indecisive uh, a lot of selling negativity to start with however you can see price is now pulling back to the upper end of this wick it needs to everything i need to say is price needs to spend or find more uh, support above 940 we see price breaking below 940 again we're going to be trading back into this consolidative range so as you can see near term here on the daily we have a buy arrow blue candles and the histogram on our side is blue and we're trading above the 50 and the sorry the 20 and the 50 pair moving average which is all all clear signs of positiveness but we do need to see a nice bullish engulfing candle closed on the candlesticks we want to see price actually finding support now above this break line this neckline if we don't 
then we're going to see price moving back into the consolidative range. Back to the daily, you can see quite clearly price has been very, very hesitant uh, through th Thursday, uh, Wednesday, and Tuesday. Monday, we had a nice bullish engulfing candle, but that's failed to actually take that higher than that 950 mark. So clear resistance above us. And then Friday, we saw price moving back, but not closing lower than 940. Start of last night, for example, you can see price moving all the way to the downside, and now we're seeing price moving higher at the open of the uh, sorry, the European session open. So it, it all we need to see is price spending more time above it. So at the moment now, I'm not looking to trade the US dollar for strength because of the fact that we're trading at a major support and resistance level. I need to see some sort of confirmation from the market. I don't want to trade any wickiness. I don't want to trade any speculativeness. You can see here on the four hour, you can see the last four hours in particular from the Tokyo Open. A very, very speculative candle, a very, very negative candle to start with. However, price is moving higher. Is this on our four hour a hammer? I know price has moved lower, and but you can see the last four hours very indecisive, moving lower and then moving, punching high again. It's all happening below the institution. Is this potentially a hammer? So we, if you, if this is genuine hammer, we need to see a bullish engulfing candle uh, to proceed it. If this is negativity here at 940, you can quickly see this candle over here closing lower, long wick to the upside. Is this a potential breakout, the pullback? And the next four hour candle would need to show us or indicate a bearish engulfing candle. We need to see a bearish close below this 940 at the underside. Notice on my four hour chart, all my moving averages are above price. My template's telling me I should be looking for negative sentiment. However, I'm trading quite close to this 940, this price support and resistance. I don't want to be faked into any trades. I want to see some sort of confirmation. So I do need to see some sort of uh, move from the market. I need to see either a bullish engulfing candle to confirm that we're going to see upside movement near term so I can target back up towards these levels here, roughly just short of the 950 mark. Or I'm looking for a bearish engulfing candle which would concur or confirm to me that for the foreseeable future we should be looking for negative negativity to take place. And then I could look towards these areas here at 930 in particular. That's our price support and resistance level. And that's our weekly Fib retracement area as my first target for this week. So very, very important. I'll probably leave an alert on this one particular one for a four hour candle close to see how she plays out um, between now and the 10 a.m. GMT time when this candle closes on Metastock. And then look to see if there's a potential trade that that, that is waiting for me. So very, very important. I've got to see what the market wants. Uh, hourly candle here, you can quite clearly see a nice huge move to the downside on the Tokyo session. However, moving up and closing higher than 50% of this candle. And then since then, you can see price has been making its move gently back up towards and above the 940 mark. So it needs to remain above 940 now to look at potentially this being a nice hammer on a price support. And then that's going to tell us we should be looking for buying sentiment intraday, or we should see a bearish engulfing candle break lower. And that would look to 930 for the foreseeable future. So buy your time. Let's see what happens between now and 10 o'clock GMT this morning to see if we get any sentiment from the market on the European session open. Last pair of the day is the US or Japanese yen. Let's have a look at that weekly time frame. It's actually on a monthly, primarily because I wanted to see, I want you guys to see the actual FIB retracements. I've taken the all-time high out back in 2007 to the current low here at 76 in particular through most of 2011. The latter part of 2011, we found support here and then prices slowly over time Found a bit of uh, sentiment, positive sentiment, and then we've seen price moving higher over here. So finding a nice support, juicy support over a number of years. However, the US dollar really rallying near term. Spent most parts of October, November, December moving to the upside, clearly breaking about price support and resistance levels here in the shape of the 8300 mark, and then moving to the upside, moving to those at 8700 mark, clearly finding resistance here because this is our 23.6 February retracement on our monthly time frame. Consolidating here, then the break, and then moving higher over that the next couple of months into 94, which happens to be the 38.2 February retracement area from those 2007 highs. And when we move to the weekly time frame, you can quite clearly see price now breaking higher over the past three weeks. However, we've seen price consolidating above the 94. We do need to see a nice bullish engulfing candle uh, going forward now. So the breakout, the pullback. And now we want to see the continuation, but the continuation won't come unless we see a nice bullish engulfing candle here. Uh, my weekly time frame is telling me I should be looking for buying sentiments. Very much uh, prices mean me moving to the up, uh, upside. All my moving average on are in favor uh, or in, in tune. The 20, the, um, the 50 period is still below the 200, but you can see quite an aggressive move to the upside. All I need to see now is price finding a nice bullish engulfing candle close. On 94 to move higher because you can quite clearly see uh, most part of March we've seen price hesitating at 96.50 now. 
a lot of indecision candles when we saw the breakout we saw the pullback which was about to, which, which, which was bound to happen with any breakout you tend to see uh, retracements 90 percent of the time but that bounce and the continuation higher didn't take us higher than the prior one which didn't bode well we had this bearish engulfing candle and price made its way back towards that 94. price is still hesitant above 94 and it's still consolidative above 94. we don't want to see price now breaking lower than 94 because that will uh, that will potentially tell us we should be looking to the downside negativity head back towards that 9300 mark which is where the 50 period moving average is on our daily so if you want to see a bullish engulfing candle here it's made all this effort to get above 94 it needs to press on now because if you see a break and price fails to move higher that's clearly telling our sentiments not moving with the breakout and that will only mean that price will eventually move back to the downside and so we should be looking for a bearish engulfing close below 94 and then we should be targeting 90.50 the 87 etc to the downside where my fib projection levels are so as it stands now intraday you're going to see a lot of indecision consolidative indecisiveness you can see these highs over here at 96 50 60. this is where price actually came unstuck a lot of uh we had an evening star here another evening star uh, a lot of indecision another evening star here another evening star a lot of evening stars in this particular pair as price has been ranging between um, the 94 and the 96. however each attempt higher he's got lower which is not a good sign and you can see that our major highs have started to drop uh, near term you can see the institution moving average coming into play a lot more previous one at 94 we saw a nice uh, the, the the bounce however near term you can see a lot of indecision we had a four hour close below the institution then we had a bullish engulfing candle which took away all that sentiment from the prior one a lot of indecision now guys and what it's doing is it's coming at the underside of 90 uh, fib retracement area here quite clearly you can see consolidation in the intraday time frames around about 90 uh, 95 and over last night you can see us dollar falling against the asian uh, currency so if we are to see further upside movement we do need to see intraday 95 being broken and then we could target these areas to the upside uh, for the foreseeable week if not we see another bearish engulfing candle back towards 94 and the break of 94 would see or should be looking for negative sentiment towards a 9300s mark um, hourly time frame notice we went from a lot of blue to now seeing a lot more red okay this is all taking place above the 94 so it's it's negative consolidation uh intraday however as long as it stays above 94 there's always going to be the opportunity of their buying power coming through now because we've seen price trading above 94. so for this to be genuine negative we want to see 94 being broken uh, as you can quite clearly see on the asian session not really taking any of the momentum from the asian session open and really rallying higher than the close that we saw on friday you can quite clearly see here near term the resistance level and that is just short of our 9500 marks hence the reason why if we are to see any buying further buying sentiment uh, intraday for the us dollar against japanese yen we do need to get above this area to start with clean air and then we can target back up towards the 9550 get above 9550 head towards that 9600 mark to the top here price support and resistance level so we have some genuine targets here notice however my histogram is still red I've had a bounce here, psychological bounce, but it's still telling me I should be looking for negative sentiment, which doesn't really gel well. So it's telling me this bounce of here, price isn't really moving with uh, genuine sentiment, which is not a good sign. And you can quite clearly see not moving higher than 9,500 here, which occurs that we should be um, looking for negative sentiment. So as it stands at the moment, on my hourly, I have a buying arrow. Candles are blue. However, my histogram, my trend sentiment is still negative intraday. So as long as there's a resistance level above me at 95, I should be looking for negativity to play through for the remainder of this week. And then I should be looking to the downside, targeting back towards 94. So very, very important. If prices move higher intraday or for this week intraday, we need to see 95 being broken and then we could target the upside. Failure to see that, then we should be looking for negativity and then we should be targeting back towards 94. That's it for the analysis for today, guys. Hope you have a fantastic trading day. Please, if you are using this template, Back it up with sound money management. I'll keep referring to it every single day until I drum it into your head. So, so, so important. You can have a really brilliant strategy out there, but if you don't back it up with sound money management, it's worth nothing. Okay? Uh, I'm not going to be able to do the analysis tomorrow because we ha we do have students over the next couple of days arriving to tonight. So Tuesday and Wednesday, I won't be able to do the analysis for you guys, but I'll be back again on Thursday and Friday. Okay, going into Easter weekend. Otherwise, have a fantastic training day. Keep it simple. And I'll see you tomorrow morning. Until then.
right? Serene Lee.